Hello, and welcome to a special edition of Spotlighting Paradise in conjunction with Paradise City Press. We are on location in Florence at Fit Together, a service net based gym, and we are with the manager of the gym, Kelly F. Collins. How are you, Kelly? Hello, thank you. I'm well. Yeah, well, today. Well, good. Thank you for coming. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a gorgeous day outside. Beautiful. And we're actually in the gym, which you folks can see out there. And we're gonna jump right into it because we're gonna pack a lot in in this Sounds little bit good. of time here. Now, tell us a little bit about ServiceNet because um, I know people probably see the ServiceNet signs all over the place, but give us a brief overall of what ServiceNet is about. Great, ServiceNet you have probably seen because it's all over Western Mass. It's a human services agency mm -hmm. and serving people, helping people all throughout the Pioneer Valley through mental health, recovery services, developmental and brain injury services, outpatient. Right. We have homeless shelters, services for adolescents, as well as early childhood intervention wow. services. Yep, and this is just Fit Together is one of the many programs that ServiceNet offers. Right, okay, so the Fit Together aspect of it, which we're gonna focus on here today. Now correct yes. me if I'm wrong, Fit Together used to be in Hadley, Am I correct? If you're going out yep. Route 9 towards, like, uh, if you're going towards Amherst, towards Amherst to be, yep. and so it's no longer there. Nope. And you guys are here in Florence. How long have Florence. you been here yep. in Florence? We moved about three years ago okay. from Hadley to Florence here. Um, and same services, right. pretty much, just, you know, different staff, different location, but we try to, same mission, help, help people and Unfortunately, due to the transition, our, our community members are, we don't have as many Hadley ones, naturally. We Absolutely. have more Florence, Northampton area members, as well as many ServiceNet clients. Absolutely. So, okay, for the many, and we're going to get to the many services that you're offered, that, that's being offered here, but let's talk a little bit about you. And you're a recent grad from UMass. UMass, yep. Yep, so I've, I've been really passionate about uh, fitness and exercise and sports my whole life. So mm -hmm. that I decided to study kinesiology, which used to be known as exercise science. Um, UMass offers that. Right. As well as psychology. So uh, this place was a great fit. I found it uh, during my junior year as a work-study student. And fortunately, this service net and this place fit together. We run through a lot of local students. We run off of um, work study interns, mm -hmm. volunteers, right. the local community members. They volunteer as exercise partners really? and are huge, huge in our uh, operations here day to day. Mm -hmm. So I started as a student. They also um, teach classes which next door we have a group exercise room. Right, so, exactly. So they help that. Mm -hmm. And that, that led me to here, finding this place. Right. And that's why we're going to get to some of the classes that you guys do in, the, in, that, in that room there. But I have to tell you, I just have to acknowledge that you're one of the very few folks that I've known, uh, and this I think is big, that went from graduating in the, with the degree that you did into actually working in the field that you went to school for. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. And I... Um, I loved, you know, I loved it so much. The more I learned and gained experience here, the more I wanted to continue that. And um, this, this seemed like a, a great place. A perfect I, fit. I even continued and got uh, my certification mm -hmm. and uh, as a health fitness specialist. And uh, I apply that here. It's basically like a personal trainer. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you do I help personal people. training, yep. um, personal one-on-ones with, one -on -one, with folks that come in as the, well. Yep, that here. That's awesome. That's what kind of makes us different than uh, most gyms in the area is that extra support and attention that we offer, a very relaxed, supportive atmosphere. Right, exactly. Now, t talk about, because you bring in some specific personal passions of yours as a manager to the gym here. And um, for the folks out there who have followed my show know that I've been doing a series on holistic health and healing in the Valley. And one of the things that I found very interesting um, with the services that you offer here is you brought a holistic approach to health and fitness to fit together. Talk about some of the services and classes that you guys offer here. Because I think the 
community will love to hear this. Yeah, so I do like what makes us unique as well is we're not, we're not just a gym. We, we're more, I incorporate the wellness approach. There's many dimensions to wellness. Mm -hmm. If you think of physical, social, mm -hmm. emotional, intellectual, mm -hmm. occupational, and environmental. So mm. all different divisions. And spiritual? Spiritual. Absolutely. Spiritual. That's we right. like to address all of those and practice them here mm -hmm. uh, with classes such as Reiki, mm -hmm. on so meditation. So you have a Reiki class. Yeah, we on, have a Reiki class. You have master. a specific night for that? Tuesdays. Tuesday yep, nights. Tuesdays. It alternates with meditation. Wow. Meditation okay. Reiki every Tuesday, mm -hmm. every other Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, we have yoga. Yoga is wow. a great. And okay. our yoga instructor incorporates Qigong as well. Mm -hmm. Similar to Tai Chi. Absolutely. We also Love have that. chair aerobics class on Thursday. Chair aerobics? Yep. Chair aerobics, okay. a whole workout in a chair. Really? Yeah. Uh, we used to have free weights as well. We have some free weights in the corner in the gym there. Mm -hmm. Fridays, we do wellness improv. So a member can come in, pick something related to wellness, any of those dimensions. And I will then facilitate with Im improvise with an exercise or activity to accommodate that. Wow. I also teach on Saturdays, we offer hoop jam, hula hoops. Hula hoop jam? Is that why the, 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 there's there a number the of hula hoops yep. up there in the corner yep. there? There's okay. numbers of ways you can exercise with hula hoops. Absolutely. That's big. There's, um, we like to play hoop ball, kind of like basketball, but the hula hoop is the net. Oh, okay. Hoop. That's a little Shoe different spin that. on the, yeah. uh, okay. We even use them as a giant ring toss, like hoop toss. Mm -hmm. around. We toss them around. So multi-purpose. Exactly, okay. exactly. After that class on Saturdays is my combo class. A uh, combination of cardio, kind of like cardio kickboxing, mm -hmm. similar to that. And uh, then we transition to strength training, combination of body weight exercises, exercises you can nice. do at home. Um, and then we end with a cool down, uh, stretching, similar to yoga, mm -hmm. flexibility, range of motion, right. testing. Now I didn't hear you uh, mention the massage, but I do know you do um, offer or someone comes in and does massages as well, we, correct? We used to have massage okay. on Mondays um, right. and potentially could come back. Our, our class schedule does always change. Right, it's flexible um, and it changes. Right, and we have also, like dance. That kind of took the right. place of the massage on Mondays. Oh, but okay. We have a dance class. Like now. Zumba kind of thing? Similar dance Similar. flow. It's more free form, really? not as choreographed. Oh, man, I might yeah. even come for that one. Yeah, yeah. it's very fun. Very so, fun. all right, well, why don't we do this? Because you do offer a lot of different services here, and, and you, as a uh, certified personal trainer, um, agree to give uh, the folks out there just a little demonstration on. Uh, one of the many things you do here with with the clients here. Yeah. So why don't we take a quick break and and have you do that, and then we'll hear from a couple of ServiceNet clients who have um, or who utilize the gym here. I also want to let the folks know real quick though, it's not just for ServiceNet. This is open to the public, which is a real a blessing and resource in our community. So we'll be right back. <laughs> So besides helping on machines here at Fit Together, I wanted to show you guys some exercises that you can do at home that we also offer here as examples. First, uh, I have an upper body exercise that you guys can do at home. Besides a standard push-up, you also have a modification. I like to do a, a wall push-up, for example. I have a, a wall or door behind you, anything flat. And uh, I would like to emphasize the form here. The, f the further back you step away from the wall, the harder it will be. So you can start close, keeping the wrists nice and even with each other. Like a push-up on the ground, you'd press, lean in towards the wall, and back out, making sure to keep, making sure to keep breathing during the exercise as well. You can also change your hands wider, which emphasizes more of a f upper body chest workout, like this. Or you can have your hands closer together and more narrow, which would work your triceps and the back of your arms more. Just like this. I'm checking my wrists, breathing, relaxing the shoulders. 
Uh, I'll step a little farther back to make it harder. And back up. So those are just ways to do push-ups. And I'll, I'll also demonstrate a core exercise. You can do this sitting down. <coughs> sitting down or standing up. I'm just going to do a simple pulse motion with the arms. This is actually a great arm and ab exercise here. We're working the full abdominals, lower and upper. And if I add a weight, you can make it a little harder. By adding a twisting motion, you'll be working your obliques as well, the side of your abdominals. You could do the sitting. The, the further you lean back to, the more your core will be engaged. Again, if you want to pick your legs up too, that'll work your lower abs more. Again, same motion, twisting side to side. If I want to work the upper and lower abs, just a simple pulse up and down. And, and those are just some of the many ways we can help with exercise and fitness here. <laughs>
I think I'm going to let my uh, T-shirt speak for itself today. Just do it. Until next time on Spotlighting Paradise in conjunction with Paradise City Press, peace and blessings, and keep the faith. <laughs>